Hello, I'm Jeff Van Trees, and welcome to Mobilize News. We welcome you to our show as our guest today is Dave Farina. Uh, Dave is the owner of the YouTube channel, Professor Dave Explains, uh, which is a hugely successful YouTube channel that has, had, that has over 2 million subscribers and over 180 uh, total million views across the channel. Dave's main focus uh, is on science education. So uh, he's real popular with college students, of course, and basic subjects like biology and chemistry and so forth. But he also has taken on the role of debunking uh, conspiracy theories uh, and science misinformation, uh, which is something that is so desperately needed right now. Uh, so Dave, can you tell us a little bit about your journey and how you've come up with this winning formula at explaining relatively complex uh, uh, science <coughs> subjects to everyday people and helping them understand the truth, which is something that as scientists, of course, that is our job is to get to the truth. So can you tell us a little bit about your journey and why you're so passionate about science education? Sure. A little, uh, you know, uh, uh, a brief version of the origin story, I guess. Um, uh, I studied chemistry and then uh, in, in college and then I, um, you know, continuing on in my 20s, uh, I, you know, I, I uh, pursued more knowledge in, in chemistry uh, in grad school and uh, found that teaching chemistry was just a good way to to make income as I was pursuing music and other opportunities. And um, eventually found myself in a position at this trade university teaching organic chemistry. And uh, so for about four years, I, I developed a, I developed my own curriculum there and, and had a set of lectures that I was really proud of that I thought was very effective in teaching introductory organic chemistry. And um, one day I just was really interested in developing some passive income. So I had heard that people were teaching science on YouTube and I thought, well, uh, maybe I can do that. And uh, so I, I, the first thing I did was just, I delivered my OCHEM lectures to camera. I had, um, I went in my wife's, uh, in my wife's office and I had uh, my whiteboard and I just wrote on the white, I basically just taught class like I normally would and um, made a little branding and a theme song and things and, <laughs> you know, uh, and made a YouTube channel. And, uh, and I, I was actually really pleasantly surprised with the feedback. OCHEM students around the world were, were very happy with the, with the content and wanted more. So I decided to do general chemistry, but this time with a green screen and then started doing some animations and, uh, that was received uh, very well, uh, also. And, um, from there, I just kind of became addicted. So I, uh, I started to um, branch out into as many topics as possible. I started to, well, first I branched out into anything that I have a knowledge base in. So uh, I also studied a little bit of biochemistry, molecular biology, physics, math, astronomy, things like that. And then as the channel grew even more, I started to hire writers uh, for other topics. And now I've branched out into, you know, about two dozen different topics, primarily in science, but also uh, even going beyond science. And um, uh, very early on, I just sort of uh, caught the, I, I just had this idea that I wanted the channel to be this uh, enormous hub for self-learning where you can, uh, if you have Z, even if you have zero scientific knowledge, you can come to my channel and start learning general chemistry tutorials, basically what 10th grade chemistry students learn in high school all, all, all around the world. And then from there, build up your knowledge and go into any area. You know, and now I have stuff in uh, immunology and geology and um, you know other other topics where you need some core knowledge, and you can develop your core knowledge and build up to all of these other uh, topics. And so that's what I've been working on for. This is about uh, seven years now that I've been working on the channel. And then uh, the separate thread here that you mentioned is that around 2019. Uh, I got sucked into sort of the debunking realm, which is a, another uh, facet uh, facet of YouTube. You have a lot of channels that, like Khan Academy, just give these tutorials for for college students to to do well in their classes. But then there's all this content that uh, addresses uh, scientific misinformation, and I I quickly found. Uh, found out how passionate I am and uh, probably how adept I am as well at this particular kind of content. I found that I have a knack for it. And um, I became very interested in um, <clears throat> sort of the sociology of of uh, how the public perceives science. I, I became fascinated with trying to understand what the public thinks about science. What do they like? What do what, what are they interested in? What are they not interested in? What are they understanding? What are they not understanding? When there when there is um, 
a gap in understanding why is that gap there right who or what which what are the what are the nefarious influences present that are trying to promote ignorance and capitalize on it what are their strategies in doing so and how can i how can i try to disarm that and so i uh since 2019 this other aspect of my channel has grown where i'm tackling it started with flat earth i got sucked into it via uh an, an interaction with some flat earthers and so i debunked flat earth a lot but then uh started focusing on creationism uh, and uh, anti-vaxxers and quantum mysticism and uh, all kinds of other uh, fads um, uh, that are that are present uh, in, in in the public, and uh, so that's something that I foresee as a, a, a primary activity of mine moving forward. In addition to the uh, in addition to the tutorials, so 